Hey everyone, this is just a quick tutorial showing you how we can use our cup chuck. So the first thing you'll want to do is slide the cup chuck onto your PVC slash turner arm. We make them for three quarter inch, half inch, rotisserie rod, and threaded. You'll notice on the cup chuck there are two screw holes that you can use these screws we provide to attach it and secure it to the PVC. Some of our cup chucks we do recommend using the foam. I use the duck brand weather stripping. You just want to make sure whatever foam you decide to use is 3 8 inch wide. The foam is not included with our cup chucks, but you can easily purchase large rolls like this for $2 to $3 at most hardware stores. To apply the foam, all that you'll need to do is take your strip of the foam, wrap it around the grooves on the cup chuck, and leave a little bit of an overlap, and then peel the paper backing off. You'll want to do that for both of the grooves on the cup chuck and then I like to smush the foam down. This helps kind of stick it together more and this will help later on so it doesn't peel up. Now the foam is not meant to last forever. It does occasionally need to be replaced. However, mine typically lasts about six to eight months. If you find that your foam starts peeling up, you can always use just a little dab of hot glue or super glue to adhere it. However, if you overlap the foam like I do here and press that down, it does typically stick together pretty well. So to insert our cup chuck, you're just going to make sure that the foam is squished down and then for this example I'm using a hog 20 ounce skinny. I'm going to insert the PVC, make sure that the cup chuck is pushed completely through the PVC, squish the foam down once more and then you're just going to insert the chuck directly into your cup and that's it. Some of our cup chucks like the Steel Magnolia Plump and the True 22 and True 32 actually do not need foam. They will screw directly into your cup. And same as our other cup chucks, they do have two screw holes on these as well, so you can still secure them to the PVC. Now you're ready to attach your PVC to your turner like you normally would, and now you can have smooth, even, level finished cups every single time.